come back to the ball breakdown. Today we'll be reviewing Pakistan versus the USA. A story victory by Pakistan. The United States beating Pakistan. Well done, USA. We know the captain Monak Patel played junior level cricket in India, went to study software development, um, and then further his career again in cricket in the United States. What a journey uh, where he is today. Um, he said before the match, 30 to 40 minutes in the field and then anything can happen versus Pakistan and well it happened the scores was tied after first 20 overs uh, Pakistan batted first good performances by Babar Azam 44 from 43 balls but he started off slow I think 7 of the first 23 he was supported by Sharab Khan uh, 40 runs from 25 balls again the controversy a big issue in the Pakistan team current Azam Khan nepotism in the team overweight unfit he doesn't deserve to be there another zero um does this have an impact on the team how they perform definitely uh, we don't know what's happening in the locker room we don't know what's happening behind the scenes but if a player doesn't deserve to be there or is put in the team due to family ties of politicians then this is what happened in terms of united states they scored 159 in the 20th over, a 4 was hit to tie the scores. Like I said, the captain Monang scoring 50. Um, one of the few, one of the few captains that could score 50 against Pakistan in the World Cup. We got Kumar Sangakara that scored uh, 50. Um, Steve Smith, um, Virat Kohli, and now him. Um, well done to him, um, making a name for himself um, at this level. I think it was the betting between House and Monank, that partnership that pushed uh, USA you know, towards the 159 mark at the end of the day, they set the foundation for them. In terms of the super over, um, a good running between the wickets, a lot of extras bowled by Pakistan, but I think it's the running between the wickets of USA that made them win this match. Uh, Pakistan only managed to score 13. Let's look at highlights of a few sixes that was hit during this match. Obviously, Aaron Jones is included, hitting 10 sixes in his previous match and two sixes in this match. On the attack. Maybe it's just needed at this stage to find a way to put pressure back on USA. Innovative. And back-to-back -back sixes it'll be. Much to the delight of the crowd. Let's look at our Emirates fly better moments uh, of this match, USA versus Pakistan. Fired that one, and it's out. That's another fine catch. That is brilliantly taken. Natural Volk is the guy who's taken that catch. The left arm quick. Going straight. Brilliant effort from Milan Kumar, diving forward, what a catch, what a moment for USA. Lovely catch taken. That's beautiful ball, oh my goodness, what a blinder that is. That is absolutely sensational. Magnificent catch, full length, full length to his right. What a player to pick up, Taylor, Stephen Taylor. Once again, congratulations uh, to USA, what a victory, um, this is immense for the cricket nation USA, we know they only have one thing in mind when it comes to a bet and that's baseball, like we see in the next clip, uh, they, they'll still not even recognize by one of the workers in the fan parks, teaching him how to bowl. <laughs> Supposed to bounce. Very funny video and <laughs> situation the other day. My girlfriend and myself were actually just down at ground zero and we were walking through the memorial area and um, stumbled across the net uh, by complete fluke, you know. And um, I said to her, I'm going to go and have a bowl a couple. I didn't know that there were actually people there that were teaching you how to bowl. <laughs> it turned out to be a pretty wholesome experience. Like a step and throw the ball out and it's going to bounce and try to hit the ball. And I just kind of rolled with it. I thought there was no point in trying to say who I was or make a big deal out of it. And um, what unfolded was some, uh, some pretty funny content. Um, we walked away from there having a, a real good laugh. 
And uh, another good friend of mine then messaged me. Uh, he saw my story and he's like, you should, you should post that. And, uh, and I did and yeah, this is kind of like taken off, but it was, it was a great experience. I don't think anyone there knew who I was and um, none of it was scripted. Uh, it was just like pure normal kind of thing and yeah, it's worked out pretty well. No, no one actually recognized me. Um, there was probably one guy that eventually came over to me. He asked me to bat to face the simulator and uh, I was pretty useless at that. The ball hit me in the shin and hit me on the knee. So obviously that didn't make um, Instagram. When we were walking up the street, I think it was up Broadway, um, we were just having a laugh at ourselves thinking, oh, this, is, this is quite funny and yeah, the content turned out pretty good.